Bob Borchard coming to you from Old Town Mariposa. And I have with me today an old friend, Mark Carpenter. Mark? Good to see you. Welcome to the Old Town Show. And I'm enthralled to be here. I'm just absolutely... Isn't this is exciting? This is really exciting. I've watched the show and I've really been... Really? Yeah. And, I, I, and now you're part of our ambiance. Uh, that's what Mariposa is all about, is ambiance. It is. And and uh, maybe you could tell the folks out there a little bit about yourself, Mark. Well, I was born... They don't know you as well as I do. I, I know. We've known each other a long time, and, and that's scary. But it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Wisconsin, and uh, my family moved to Santa Barbara. That's a cheese place, right? Yeah. Appleton, Wisconsin. Center of cheese country. Yeah. Oh, really? All the... the if you... Go to Appleton, Wisconsin, and go look and see how many carpenters are in Appleton, Wisconsin. It's scary. Okay. It's, it's like a cult. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, we moved from uh, Wisconsin, 1965, moved to Santa Barbara, culture shock. It was right, right in the middle of the 60s and, uh, uh, you know, the flower power and, and uh, you know, the whole thing down in there. And uh, it was a great place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of music going on. Music? Yeah. Well, you're kind of in the music business now, right? Yeah, uh, for a long time. Uh, in the 1970s, I was in a band, and I played in a band or sang in a band from the 70s to uh, the 1990s, and then got into doing sound and DJing. Okay. Uh, you were telling me a little story about uh, your musical career and how it got started. Maybe you could share that with the folks. In when I was a young kid, I had a speech impediment. And I stuttered, and I had a hard time talking in front of people. I still have a hard time. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. But uh, I, I went to classes at UCSB as a young kid, and they uh, they worked with me quite a bit and had me uh, work my speech patterns off of famous people. They'd have me listen to different speech patterns and uh -huh. then try to copy them. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that that's what we did. I had a tape recorder, and I would go over my speech patterns over and over again to try to make it better. Okay. Uh, by the way, you understand that when you hit the table, the sound gets better. Oh, I apologize. I'll keep my hands off the table. And yeah. I, I, I get that direction from Walt. Ah. Uh, he's, okay. our, he's our technician. I, yeah, he's the guru, but he's Oz behind the curtain. He is Oz. Yeah, usually um, I'm Oz. And, it, and, it, <laughs> and, and we can talk a little bit about that. Uh, you have a, a company. You do music. Mm -hmm. Our company is called thesoundmanonline.com, or you can even just go the Soundman Online, mm -hmm. and uh, we do events all over uh, Northern California. We even get into Nevada. We do some events in, in uh, Northern Nevada, mm -hmm. and we go up to Idaho. We do Fourth of July in Bonners Ferry, Idaho, right on the Canadian border. So we we go all over the state of California. And uh, what you do is well. I've been involved with you down at the coin. You did some karaoke down mm -hmm. there and and uh, and dance music. Uh. We do a little bit of everything. It, what we do is create a mood. Mm -hmm. so One of the things that I saw at a at a show recently uh -huh. was you up on the stage. Yeah, I I still do that. You do. We, yeah, we have a band called The Fog, and the I, I won't Fog. go into the acronym of what it means. Oh, but okay. uh, 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 the friendly old guys, let's just put it that way. Okay. 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 And uh, we have this band, and I took uh, a couple guys who were studio musicians and a couple guys who had played the clubs for years. Mm -hmm. And we put those people together, and it's kind of like our golf game. Uh, you want to go into that one a little more? Now? Well, it, some people play, can play golf, have the patience to play golf, uh -huh. some people don't. So what we do is, is we play music. It's our recreation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you and I are going to start with it with another good friend of ours, Cotton 80. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start doing something um, pretty unique. Uh, we're going to be doing a community calendar show. I'm excited. Well, you look excited. I am. I'm, I'm, I, I, this idea that you have is wonderful. Well, it isn't just my idea. It's a lot of people's idea. Right. Uh, we're just executing it here on the Old Town Show. But what we're going to be doing with Scott, mm -hmm. uh, with Mark, is uh, doing a, a weekly show talking about what's going on or what's up around Mariposa. 
But we've defined Mariposa in kind of broad terms. It's not just Old Town, although Old Town is the center of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> to us, right? To us. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's going to incorporate uh, the, the greater Old Town, which would include Yosemite National Park, Colderville, Hornitos, Cathy's Valley, um, and, uh, and other communities within, in and around the county. Mm -hmm. The outlying areas of Mariposa have some of the greatest events Absolutely. going. At La Coulterville and Hornitas, they just got done with the Enchilada Feed. The Enchilada Feed was yeah. special this year. Yeah, it was it was it was dynamite. But the uh, but the whole purpose of the show is to tune our community into what's going on, and in the we we are looking working on the technology to work that into an events calendar on our Old Town uh, web page which is a Google uh, search page. And uh, in addition to that, within a month or so, I'm looking at uh, going live on KAIL TV. Oh, that's, that's exciting. And uh, we can uh, promote our events and activities up here to people who are down in the San Joaquin Valley. I, I think that people in the Valley really want to know what's going on up here. Well, I, I, you know, we have a lot of customers at the Gold Coin, as you well know. Yeah. Uh, who are from the Central Valley, and and uh, as a practical matter, uh, we've become kind of a, 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 a mini vacation, mini vacation or whatever. And uh, at any rate, uh, maybe we could talk about it. I know I noticed that uh, our, our new company is here, so we don't have to get into one of them. But I thought it would be fun if we kind of went over a couple of few things. Sure. To, to give people a, a brief outline. I don't know where at where we're at with the, this timeline. Uh, and my producer over there isn't giving me a lot of direction. but So I'm just going to kind of head into this. I, I want to talk a little bit about Old Town. Okay. We have uh, four new businesses downtown. And that's, got, uh, to see we that We do happen. not have any vacant uh, store space in town right now. Mm -hmm. uh, th this is the only community, I think, in, in the Western Hemisphere that doesn't have a vacant building someplace. When we go around to all the different towns to do sound and to do events, what really strikes us is the amount of empty space. And when you drive down Main Street of Mariposa and you don't see any empty space and you see the activity that's going on on a Saturday night, it's it's it just really it, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good too. And 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 that's part of what this what uh, show is going to be about, letting people know what's going on. But I wanted to mention Four businesses mm -hmm. that, I'm, that I'm really excited about. Okay. Right next door, we have Costalivo's Olive Oil. Mm -hmm. And they did a cooking show with us down at the Coin. We also have Eastwood's 49er open. They're back open. They're back open. And, and it's uh, it's been a long time coming, but yeah. uh, they have a pool table in there. They have a great lunch menu. And it's, uh, it's a fun place to be. I haven't had a chance to go in there. Now that you've mentioned it, I'm... I'm Got to go in there. Well, right down the street uh -huh. is the bead shop. Sue Carney, do you know Sue? No, I do not. Sue is probably one of the most interesting people you're ever going to want to meet. And uh, she decided, well, they bought the building across the street. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's opening up a candy store. Uh, and uh, the bead shop is open now. So, wow. Uh, and it's called, uh, it's called the bead shop. Isn't it amazing how that when people come up here, you, you have some of the most eclectic, interesting personalities that open businesses? Well, there's a, there's a, a reason for that. It's in the water. I think so. I, it, MPUD. And uh, the last thing is the Majestic Mini, mini Mall with uh, uh, CC and Mike McDaniel. Uh -huh. uh, you're not a clamper, are you? No, I... I I'm probably well on my way, but yeah, I, I have no. We'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. We have doings coming out. All right. Uh, but uh, Mike is a is a clamper, and and he and his wife opened up uh, a new variety store. Around town, <laughs> well, we have a I have a written down some notes here. Uh, we have the hideout coming up, and, and you know they opened up for a real March March first. They've been closed down for a little bit. Have, and, um, have you been in there to listen to the music in there? Oh, yes. I, I think it's a real interesting place. It's a, it's a hoot in there. Yeah. We also have, uh, well, the uh, prospectors down the street have been doing what's called 
Frickin' Frickin' Friday. Okay, Frickin say that three times, Bob. <laughs> Frickin' Friday, and, and that's kind of an interesting little event, too. But yeah. anyway, uh, and that's a style of beer. And, uh, and another thing that's going on downtown, mm -hmm. it's not a new business, but a new service in a business is a quarter note. Uh, it's uh, it's a music store, you know. The yeah, I know where it is. I know where it is. Okay. And, and what are they doing? That they have a studio in there, and, oh. they, and they're doing recordings of people. So you could do you could do your own little. Uh, I could walk in and record. Even you. Even me, could walk in and record. Absolutely. Yeah. At any rate, uh, the big news is I think coming up uh, down the road, mm -hmm. we have uh, the Stumble Inn, Rio Loco. Uh, and uh, this, uh, he's been doing a little songwriters thing, and he's right down below us. This is the Mariposa Hotel we're broadcasting from. Sure, beautiful place. And uh, it, it's a kind of the, become the center of the universe. Uh, it, if the Mariposa is the center of the of the universe, this is the nucleus. This of is the center. Th this is the, the you know everything else revolves around, around here. the old town Mariposa yeah. Hotel. I, it's great to see. I, the, the the atmosphere of downtown is it is it is it's really uh, anyway Mike with the uh, real local stumble in downstairs uh, we also have something coming up on March seventeenth that uh, is going to be a real showstopper and that's uh, the Irish Day right oh uh, yeah what's that guy's name Saint, Saint something? something about snakes yeah Saint yeah. Patrick's Patrick Patrick, Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. yeah yeah that was my brother's name it really no really? I didn't know that yes. Uh, he drove the snakes out of Ireland. Yes, I know that. Anyway, 7th Street is going to close down. They're going to have a block party uh, all week long down at the coin. We're going to be doing some uh, Irish specials. Wow. So it's, it's, uh, we are going to celebrate St. Patrick's Week. Uh, that, is, uh, that is amazing. And, I mean, And, and uh, being uh, uh, an entertainer, you have an Irish brogue, I presume. Uh, yes, I do. I have an Irish brogue. You do? Yes. Well, uh, so can you say something about beaming a set? Beaming in a sub, Scotty. <laughs> we, uh, I'm getting the wrap-up sign. Actually, yeah. I got the wrap-up sign. Oh, okay. Portland, that so was quick. So we have to... Well, we uh, had so much more to talk about. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, I want to thank you for being on the show. Oh, okay, I'll do one more plug. The soundmanonline.com. Okay? That's a good one. All right, thank you. I I've heard of them. Okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, we're going to be doing uh, What's Up Mariposa, and uh, thank you very much for joining us today, and we'll be seeing you again soon. Look forward to doing it.